is Fiona, the young adult librarian, and today I'm going to show you how to make these really easy paper towel roses. They're really pretty, and everything you need to make them you should have around your house. So let's get started. For today's craft, you're going to need your green plastic straws, your pipettes, your watercolor paint, cups for water, scotch tape, scissors, glue stick or glue, of course you need your paper towel, and you need a surface to allow the towel to dry on, you don't want to let it dry on paper. I'm using tin foil, you can use a cookie sheet, um, you just don't want to use paper because it'll get stuck to it. So first what we want to do is take our paper towel and like I said you want to put it on whatever surface you're going to have it dry on. You want to take your watercolor, your pipettes, and you want to have a couple of different cups of water depending on how many colors you're using. So we'll start out. You just want to fill your pipe out with water and then you want to put it on top of whatever color you want to use. And when you're first doing this, you can do it with the same one. So then you're going to want to pick whatever color you want to start with and you just want to kind of stir around to get the paint up with the pipette and then you're just going to use it to suck up what's in here and then we're just going to drip it randomly and then we can add more water. So you can add it wherever you want, and you can add as many colors. You have all the same colors, as many colors as you like. And you can just add water if you need more. Stir. Another color, you would just grab another pipette and do the same thing. And you're just gonna add it under however you'd like. And just keep adding until you have it the way you want it to look. So now that you have all the paint on your piece, what you're gonna wanna do is set it aside. It's gonna take a couple hours to dry. So once your paper is dry, we want to take our scissors and first we're going to fold the paper towel in half and cut it in half. And then we're going to take each of those halves and cut those in half as well. So each sheet will make two roses. So now you want to take each of your two sheets and you just want to fold up a small edge like so about half an inch maybe less like that and we're going to glue that down
And that's just gonna be the outer edge of the rose that you see. Give it a nice line. I'm gonna do that with both. So next what we want to do, once we have these glued, we take them and crumple them up just to give them kind of a more realistic look. Okay. And so what you want to do is take your piece of tape and you want to place your straw right here and wrap this around. And we're just gonna tape that on there, just to keep it in place. And you wanna roll, and you wanna keep it loose, um, otherwise you'll have a really tight flower. So you wanna roll it up, kinda loose, with your first strip. And then you're gonna take the second strip, and just hold it against here and continue to roll. Again, keeping it kind of loose. So you should have something like this. And now what you wanna do is take your tape again and you're gonna pinch it here at the bottom, like so. So like that. And we're gonna wrap our tape around there. So you wanna wrap it around. Make sure you attach it to the straw. So once you have your tape on the bottom, all you want to do is just sort of loosen up the towel inside a little bit. And you can give it a little bit of shape. So here you can see my completed roses. I made a couple of them so I can make a bouquet. I put them in this jar with a ribbon so it makes a pretty gift or decoration and they're easy to make and everything you already have in your house and what's nice is these flowers will last forever. So I hope you enjoyed this craft. Stay tuned for more crafts and thanks for watching.